Hello YouTube, welcome back to my channel. So I know I mentioned in the, few, in the last video that, <coughs> excuse me, or I don't know where I mentioned that I sharpened um, my carbide bits. A lot of you were wondering how the hell can you sharpen your carbide bits? <laughs> um, and it's super, super, super easy, you guys. It's a piece of cake. So I have a huge collection of carbides. Um, let me show you this. And then I still have these and these. I mean, right now I am cleaning them up. And so I'm going to clean them up for you guys. And I'll be explaining what I use each thing for. So I'm going to try. I have a lot of them um, in doubles or I have a lot of carbides that are repeated. So I'm just going to pull out all the ones I have repeated. Wait, I don't want to sharpen these yet. Um, so I'm going to take all so you guys can see the difference between the carbides so I can explain to you guys what it is that I'm doing or I will try to explain okay mainly the ones I use the most are the ones that I'm gonna pull out so I have two of these two of these um, Just so you guys can see the difference in the result. If I explain myself. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so I'm just pulling out all my favorite carbides that I actually use on a regular basis. Um, I just collect these, you guys. I really don't. Um, this one, I think I broke some of the blades. Yeah, that's one I'll use. That's going to be thrown out soon. Just because I've i been using that one to remove stones. So, it's going to be no use. Okay, so I have two, two. Oh, I need one more of these. I had already recorded this video, but I did not like the quality um, of it. So I didn't really even understand myself in that video. <laughs> okay, here's. So I got. Okay, I need to pull one of these out. So I have two, two, two. Oh. You guys need to see a fine grit also. <clears throat> Do I have a fine grit? I have a medium right here. Do I have another medium? I don't, oh wait. Nope, that's not it. That's not it either. Nice extra close. Oops. Extra course too. Yeah. Mediums I really don't have those repeated because I only use those. Um when I finished oh wait, I have two mediums right here. Yeah, so two of the same. So these are medium grits right here. Okay, put this away. <clears throat> and a fine grit. So I don't think I have another fine grit to be honest with that. 
but I'm looking for you guys. I'm looking. I do, but it's a ceramic bit, and that's not what we're working on. Hmm. What I do, you guys? Wait, is it fine? No, this is a medium. Hmm. <laughs> oh, I have a fine grit over here. So this is a safety and this is non-safety, whatever. I wanna say this is an extra fine grit actually. So I won't be able to show you guys like an after, to be honest. And that's about it. So as you can see, it's different grits here. <clears throat> and let's put these to the side. So here, I'm going to just put all the used ones. Not the used ones, but the, um, how do you explain it? The unsharpened versus the sharpened. And these, I'm gonna have to do them together. So I'm gonna start from the finest grit. This should be last. Then this one and this one. And I think it's, and then like that. Like that? <laughs> so let me take a picture of these real quick and then um i'll take a picture of the final Father, girl stay in your place <laughs> trying to do here you guys me no sabo i'm a no sabo kid yeah i heard people say, girl you know whatever i'm just gonna leave it like that okay we're back i took a picture um hopefully i'm able to do a better video this time because the one I tried to record that I had already recorded was super bad to the point that I was like what the hell are you saying girlfriend I did not make any sense I really did not I was even like to myself saying I would not understand nothing if I watched somebody else do this video <laughs> but I'm trying not to get a shadow here, but it looks like that's just how it's going to be. Wait. Oh, jeez. Give me a second. Okay, I'm wondering if you guys can see now. I think so. I think that's much better. There's another, this is a medium grit for this one okay i have like a little bulb right next to me it's kind of in my way okay um this is a medium grit right here and for this one to declog it i like to use this brush just to get any acrylic stuck there Pay attention to the direction that your blades are going. And you're going to see, you see all the gunk right here coming out these damn carbides. My fingers are so callous that I can't feel the sharpness unless they touch like this area right here it's like itchy now 
but I always finish off with this one just to get rid of any dust stuck. This helps get rid of like the dust that's stuck in between your carbides. As I'm turning, it's also turning the carbide. If you don't want it to turn, just hold it still like this and then it won't rotate. And then you can move it a little, do the other side, move it a little, turn the other side. And look at the difference right away. So this one's done. You wanna clean the top of the head, you can. But you see like how, if you do that, But this is done. So that's how I sharpen fine, um, extra fine, fine, and medium grits. Now, this is a coarse, just regular coarse. I do f um, sharpen each one differently. So not, not exactly differently, but you'll see. You'll see in the video, you see. So for this one, I use this one's the more flexible one, just cause it's, so all I do, same thing. So first it's like a declog, just going real quick, making sure there's no acrylic stuck in there. So for these gold ones, a lot of them are coated. So you might notice with time that they start looking silver from all the sharpening. So since all the, um, if we're looking at the blades, these blades are actually standing more like up. They're not literally sitting. There's some blades that almost like sit to the right. So this one is a versatile carbide bit. That means you can use it left or right. But for the most part, um, the blades are actually, the grooves are actually, um, and the grit is actually wider. So that's why it's coarse because there's more space in between the blades. So basically you see the thickness right there of that groove. That's how much acrylic is basically taken off so since these blades can be used left and right and they're sticking up you can kind of also sharpen so if i'm okay if i'm going to be using it to the left and the right you sharpen this way and you sharpen below which is going the other direction Remember, hold, so you can turn it, hold it, and sharpen that side. Hold it, turn it, sharpen it the other direction. The only reason why I'm doing this is because this carbide is used left, and it's used to reverse and forward, basically. So I want my blades to be sharp from both sides. So now that that's done, I go and switch to this one just to make sure there's no dust in between. So remember, as I'm going, I'm holding right now, and then when I wanna turn it, I'll let it go a little, and it'll turn for me. I'm gonna do it this way. I don't really worry about the edge down here because I rarely use it. <laughs> And that is it. You can see the difference already. And this is the coarse, a coarse, just regular coarse bit. Then this is, um, I like to use this sometimes when I do gel, gel work on clients and I don't need to, I don't know why, I just use this to remove gel, like gel polish like this. <clears throat> so this one you can see that the blades are laying down to the right. So this is a carbide bit mainly for use to the right, but you can still use it to the left. It's just that the cut is gonna be way different. So whenever I use it to the right, 
it files like a normal carbide but when i use it to the left um it actually kind of almost like shreds the acrylic it looks more like like it's peeling it off instead of like creating any dust that's just what i've noticed so then these blades are bigger i switched to the no it's this one the much firmer one same thing you guys same thing so i'm basically going up but diagonal is that how you say it so in the direction of the grooves and remember as i'm going i've been doing this for so much so long so as i'm going up i'm also going out you know as i'm going to the right i'm going out i mean <laughs> I'm trying my best to explain you guys, but so I'm going up and to the right, up and to the right, up and to the right. So I'm going to hold it there, turn it a little, hold it there, turn it a little, hold it there, turn it a little, hold it there. You, I can see dust stuck in between these blades, but this is how you'll get it's like when you when you sharpen a knife basically i'm even wondering if i buy a stone if that will work but i will let you know you guys i've never tried that so just know that i will for you guys i won't just so you guys know if it works or not so you can already see the difference like so then I use this one to remove any dust in between the blades. Same, same way, same way. This one I'm only going to sharpen to the right because I never use it to the left. Remember, right and out. Wiping right out of the diagonal and up. But look at the difference. Look at those nice blades. Okay. So this one right here, I have it available. I have this one and this one available on my website. I love this one. This is like my favorite. I have a few of these. So this one, I know I might have broken maybe. No, I didn't break any. But I might have cracked a few blades because I used it to remove some rhinestones. So you could kind of see that some blades are a little messed up. I mean, I don't know if you can tell, but I can tell that I've messed up. Like right there, you can see. Um, Where is it? Like these two blades right here are kind of like chipped I don't know if you guys can see that so I know I, a few of these blades are chipped because I used them to remove rhinestones so also again I go with the firmer one the same thing pay attention to your so this one you can use it left or right the reason why is because the blades are standing up as you can see the blades are standing up and the grooves are going the grooves this way are the same as the grooves this way because you can see all the blades are sitting the same way and then the other you know, I don't know if I can explain that but the grooves are moving the same amount of ah, sorry they are the same thickness going to the left and going to the right and then the blades are standing up so this is a versatile carbide carbide bits which means that you can use it in reverse and you can use it in forward that's the only thing <laughs> i can't believe i'm trying to teach you guys something but you can just tell just by the way the blades are sitting like um you can see when the carbide looks more like crossy like if it was like excess everywhere you can use it left and right easy like this one that this medium grit same way this one all the blades are going one direction so you know this one also they're all going one direction 
and then um, the other direction is gonna be much finer because the way the other side crosses, I don't know if I can, if you can see, you can see all the grooves are the same thickness going to the right. If they go to the left, they get finer. The lines get finer, so that means it's gonna cut different if you reverse. And when you forward, it's gonna cut like a medium grit. So it's gonna be a finer, um, Hopefully I'm explaining myself because I'm over here all over the place. Ew, is that my hair? <laughs> Oops. Okay, so we're gonna sharpen the, this is um, 4XC. So four times coarse. So the same thing, you guys, you know, right and, uh, um, and, and out. To the right and out. So remember, as I'm doing this, I'm turning and turning. Since this is um, a versatile carbide, I gotta go the other direction also, cause the blades are standing up. As you can see, the blades are starting to get much Cleaner. You can see the chipped ones right here. What you can also do, um, if you don't want to do all that scrubbing, you can turn on your file. So I'm going to turn it to 10 RPMs. So it's going forward right now. And what I'm going to do when it's going forward, go from underneath and move up and down, up and down, up and down. And then you can reverse, go from the top, up and down, up and down, up and down. That easy. Then I'm gonna pause it and I'm gonna start removing all the dust and stuff because this does create dust you guys you can wear a mask gloves to do this if you're scared now i'm gonna do it the other way i wouldn't do that with the finer bits to be honest to to sharpen like that and we're done so I know some blades are a bit broken on this carbide, but I'm only gonna use these, this one to remove stones. So I'm gonna mark it actually. Um, what can I mark it with? You know what? I think I can mark it with gel polish or something. Um, now I'm gonna use a Sharpie. I just know that the stone looks a little more orange. Whatever, that worked for me. But you see how easy it is? You see how easy it is? Same thing, these are almost the same style. <clears throat> so I'm gonna put it on my, I think the coarser they are, the easier it is, it's better for me to use my drill. So right now let's just declog it. You know, remove all... Oh my god, why am I doing this on top of these? Let me scooch them all over. Same thing. The other way. So this is almost the same thing as this one. So right now it's reversed. Let me forward. At 10 RPMs, remember forward, you go from the bottom. Go up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. Then you reverse. You reverse, you go from the top. If you go from the bottom, for some reason it'll jump. Like, you see that? So no, go this way. Then I'm gonna get this one. You can also, oh. You can go this way. Let 
And then I'm gonna forward. Then I'll pause. Oh shit. Oh, I keep reversing it and forward. So now, so these are coated, so you're obviously gonna see some of the gold um, flake off, to be honest. Because these are just coated with gold, whatever it is. And that is it. You see the difference? Look at those blades. Look much sharper, cleaner. The only reason why these look weird, well, at least to me, is because of the paint that comes off of these blades. So, just remove that off and look, you'll see the difference. Hopefully, you guys understand this because this is another one of my favorites to remove um, acrylic. Um, you know what? I think I have this in a set. Um, I'll show you the set in a bit. Don't remember if I have any for the website. Because last time I posted them, a lot of them sold out. So I'm going to get, um, the hard, this, this one, the firmer one. No, wait. No, this is the more flexible one. So the same thing, you guys. So with this one, all the blades are standing up. As you can see, they're all going straight and they're all standing up. This is another versatile carbide. It will work the same way, left or right. So for this one, it's not, you can do the same thing or just go up. Either you can just go up and turn, up and turn, up and turn. And you can also go to the right and turn right and turn because the blades are all um and you, you know like straight so going to the other side and up oops you can instantly see the blades getting sharp so i'm gonna forward remember forward you go from the bottom Slowly, don't don't put no pressure like this. No, you wanna you know gently do it up and down, up and down. Now I'm gonna reverse. I'm gonna reverse. You go up and down, up and down softly. Don't ever put too much pressure. Then I'm gonna hit it with this one. Is because it's then let's reverse. Remember, go from the bottom when you go forward, you go from the bottom, and when you go reverse, you go from the top. So now, now I can turn off my drill because we're done, we're done with everything. And you know, get rid of any dust in between the blades. Since this is all the blades are straight like this, I can go up and down, up and down like this, like scrubbing. And we're done. Look at that. So now let's look at them side by side. Ugh, my hands feel dry whenever I do this. And let me just put a little bit of hand sanitizer. Because I got all this metal dust. Look at everything that came out these damn carbides. So <clears throat> this is un this is unsharpened and this is sharpened. Regular use. Can you tell the difference? So this the right is sharpened and the left is not. This not too much wear, but you can see instantly the blades look much nicer, sharper. Looks like a brand new carbide. Then 
this one is fairly new, but you can tell with all the um all the, the I've sharpened it a few times, the color has changed a bit. This one I think is kind of new. And this is for me sharpening sharpening it. So it's the same exact card, but but you see with I've had this years now, not gonna lie, for years. And they're still with me maintaining them, taking care of them. They're like new. But it's so crazy. Look how drastic the color is has changed from me sharpening with time. <clears throat> if you keep sharpening your carbides, obviously you'll make them last longer. But I don't recommend you like every single week sharpening them. You're going to shorten your blades and they're not going to function the same. Because you can see the blades are longer on this side because it's fairly new. And this has been sharpened maybe twice or three times already. You can instantly tell that the blades are getting shorter. <laughs> but these are the same exact carbides. But look at the crazy how the color changes with time from sharpening them. Then this is the sharpened and this is fairly... I want to say it's fairly new also. <clears throat> so, same thing. So, you can tell they're the same thing because they're from Pana. I love their carbides, especially these right here to remove acrylic. I use these ones to remove acrylic from shorter nails. But you can also see the difference. It's been only sharpened once. So, the blades are still long. This one... It's fairly new, but I used it to remove rhinestones because if you can see that blade right there, I cracked it off. But I mean, it could get sharpened again, but that little area, you're going to feel a difference when you file that is not removing acrylic. Like literally when it's rotating and you're using, you can kind of feel that empty gap. It's hard to explain. <laughs> you can see the difference. This side is sharpened. This one is not. <clears throat> okay, I need to set aside the sharpened carbide bits. Because I want to take a picture. And then I'm going to show you on a nail tip. I don't know if it's going to be able to show on a nail tip. Um, the difference. So this is unsharpened. This is the 4XC curve. You can find this one on my online store. Um, and this is a sharpened. Fairly new and sharpened. I know this one has a few blades that are cracked, but this one's going to be used to remove stones. Um, but you can kind of see the difference in the blades also. But yeah, I've used this one to remove a few stones, so some of them are going to be broken. But that's fine, because they're going to be used to remove stones anyways. <laughs> like, what the hell are go? Oh, I'm blind. Oh, don't do that, because you're going to mess up your blade. Look, I'm ouch. I just stabbed myself with the brush. So this is um, fairly new and the sharpened one. Same carbide, same. We can still see the difference. What did I get dust on this? Yeah, I did. We can see how much cleaner, nicer that looks. Sharpened right here, and then the one unsharpened has dust on it. But you see the difference? I can see the difference. I don't know if you can. <laughs> so this is unsharpened and this one's sharpened. So these are all sharpened and cleaned, obviously. See the difference? Obviously this one's dirty. This one's not. It's harder to break um, right, um, the fine grits. You won't break them, but you will just take off the whole blade. <laughs> so these are only for finishing touches. 
and obviously these ones I don't have duplicates of but this is extra fine and this is just regular fine you see oh this one I couldn't get it all the way but that's fine that's fine I don't know why I'm doing this wrong I'm going Even just the way it sounds, you can tell that those, mm -mm. And this is a sharpened one. You see, you can just hear it too. <laughs> Hard to explain. Okay, let's try. This is a unsharpened let me I'm gonna lower the speed to three oh I'm gonna do it right here this is unsharpened I feel like I should have done it with acrylic not gel gel is so easy to remove and this is a sharpened one. You see at the beginning it just goes smooth and this one skips a little from the areas that are not sharp. Yeah, I could feel the difference. But you can tell the difference. I'm over here trying to see what I could file. Oh my goodness. Oh, like butter. Now it goes super smooth. But yeah, you guys, super easy. Oops, my dumbass did not turn it off. But hopefully this helps. But usually the medium and fine grits, you do not need to sharpen those. It's more important for like the coarser bits. But this is the sharpened side. Maybe let's try and remove. I'm gonna go in with 14 RPMs going forward. Ah, I keep touching my damn nose. Ooh, look at that. Easy, easy, easy. Now let's see with the unsharpened, oh, with the unsharpened one. 14. RPM. Oh. <laughs> it went in my mouth. <laughs> Sharpening the rest. And bye. Watch the rest of the video, guys. I have a a um an item that's going on the online store. Um, let me show you guys in a bit. Let me just put these carbides away. I have to separate which ones I just sharpened and which ones I didn't. And then I have to disinfect them too. I have so many, so many. to show you what well you're gonna see at the end of the video what i did but i'm just gonna cut this off real quick i'm back so i'm doing more bling bags um the first batch i did did so well i'm almost sold out of them Ooh, yay so 
Um, I got a few people requesting I just do a bling only box. I mean, bling only baggie. So this is for you guys. All the stones in these baggies are stones I've used in my all my videos. Um, I had so many little packs left over from kits I've done before. So I was like, let me just do a oh, bling only bag. I was so excited to do it. <laughs> but you're going to get flat bags, hot fixes, star bags, um, pointed bags, all different shapes, um, different colors, um, shapes. I already said that. But just watch. Just watch. This is going to be bling only. Bling, 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 bling. <laughs> I'm being stupid right now. But look at all the goodies you're going to get in these treasure baggies. And just keep keep watching. It's going to get better and better and better. You ain't going to believe all the mess I did with these baggies. <laughs> but hope you guys like. I am, They're already up on the website for all of my regular buyers. You guys received a email campaign with a 50% off coupon just for being loyal customers or if you purchased with me before you will get that um coupon code so if you purchased from me before just know that there's a coupon waiting for you in your email <laughs> but look at all the goodies i put in this bag and it's, it doesn't stop here it doesn't i started adding neons and different shapes and different colors and different sizes so I showed that pen because for the first six buyers that purchase will get a bling pen a bling wax pen and a bling tray so go buy you one go get you one look at all the goodies I'm dumping up in here so, hope you guys like this video, you guys. Stay tuned. Thank you for watching. Thank you for all your support. And if you are waiting on your order, it should be sent out by tomorrow. So, if anybody makes um, orders today, before... What time is it now? Before 1 maybe 2 p.m pacific time i think it is um i am in california in san leandro so you guys figure out that figure that out so anyone that purchased before 2 p.m today you will get your order sent out today <laughs> bye
So I'm back. So we're gonna have I'm gonna have these little bags and these bags. So this is gonna be like three of these. But we'll see. This is the only scooper I found. Um let's see. So this fits about four scoops. You see? Oh, I can never open these things. So let's see, four scoops again. One, two, three, four. Four scoops, oh. So I'm trying to pack them all the way to the top. So they need to be able to seal. Oh, how pretty. So the scoops can't really be all the way filled up just enough. So let's see one, two, three, four. Yeah. Oh. They have to close. I'm gonna try and fill them up all the way, but the baggies have to close. Look how beautiful. I'm still debating how much these baggies should be for. I know there's one, two, three, four. They barely close. Okay. So I'm going to be alternating the sizes of the bags just to see how many baggies I'm able to complete. Oh my gosh. Can't wait. Okay, let's see how many scoops fit in the big bag. As you guys saw, the little bags fit four scoops. So I'm going to do eight scoops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So there'll be 16 scoops in here. Whew. So that's like three of these, right? Is it? <gasps> four times three is 12. Four times four. 16. So it's for these in here. <laughs> Girl, that's what I do nails. I don't do no math. So let's do this again. 16 spoonfuls. Oh. One, two, three, four.
You guys want to see how many rhinestones you guys get in here? Where can I place them? I don't want to put them on this paper towel. In the little bag, you get about four scoops of rhinestones. And it's this many. Ew, cute. It's a mix of all the stones I use. So this is like four scoops of rhinestones. This is, these bags, the bigger bags are 16 scoops. So you get all bling, all rhinestones. So look at all the babies you get in the big bag. All sizes, shapes. Oh, dude, there's a lot. There's a lot of babies right here. So you get all of these in the big bags. So they'll be posted tonight. <laughs> For the first six buyers, um, you will get a bling tray and a wax pin for the six for the first six people that purchase a baggie let me show you the the bling trays are black and you'll either get a white pen or a pink pen Oh, this is ugly. We can use this one. This one looks prettier. Ouch, I just stabbed myself. So you'll either get one of these. These are gonna be a random, chosen. Chosen, chosen, random, random, chosen. <gasps> Man, I don't know how to talk English. That's why I do nails. <laughs> Well, that's stupid for saying that. But you, the first six per, um, people that purchase um, a bling bag will get a wax pencil, a free wax pencil, and a free bling tray. So the first six orders. I'm still debating how much to sell them for. I'll post that on the website. So, bye.